we're going to show you how to make one of our most favorite dishes in the restaurant. And if you want to make it at home from the retail, that's how we're going to do it. First, buy some panko breadcrumbs right from our retail market. Mix it 50-50 with your favorite Parmesan, shredded or grated. Okay, we're going to mix that up. We've already pre-selected some beautiful haddock from our retail market. We're going to use a little of our famous pre-breading you can buy in the market. Flour would also work, seasoned flour. Okay. We're going to dredge it in a little egg wash. Drain it off a little bit. It really helps if you keep one hand in the dry, one hand in the wet. Okay. This is our most popular re restaurant item. People ask to make it all the time and how we do it. It's a well-guarded secret except now. Okay? So it's breaded, have it all ready, and you're ready, you can do this ahead of time, and you take it to the pan. All right? We've got a medium heat pan over here. We use real butter, drawn butter. You put the rounded side of the fish down into the pan away from you first. Okay? You want the pan and the fish to be hot, not to splash around. And you're good to go. A couple minutes on each side, depending on how thick the filet is, and it'll start cooking. All right, we're watching our uh, Milanese cook here. We're getting some bubbles. We're going to let it cook for a couple minutes. You're going to check it and make sure it's golden on the bottom and you're not burning it. Approximately eight, in, eight minutes per inch of thickness for fish. All right, we just turned our haddock milanese. Nice golden crust, medium hot saute pan. Watch the edges. You want a nice and golden, brown, good crust on it. Gonna cook it through the rest of the way and then we'll take it to the plate. All right, we're gonna take our golden, beautiful haddock milanese from the pan to the plate. In the restaurant, we serve it with our lemon butter. There you go. Haddock Milanese, New England Fish Market and Restaurant.